The main reason people are looking at these things is they want their joints to be the same color as their metal. You don't solder copper, you braze copper. And they've come up with a lot of different copper solders and, and techniques, but you just have to find the one you're comfortable with. And right now I enjoy the brazing. So we're gonna start our torch. And I always have my brazing rod in the vicinity of the heat, not directly in the heat, but in that area so they can be preheating. If this is cold and this is not hot enough, it will stick to it and you have a new component on your piece. So when I see that metal start to glow slightly is when I want to go in and touch. So it's getting to up to temperature. I'm going to come in and touch. And I'm done. It's your weekend jewelry person friendly technique that I think a lot of people will be able to enjoy with supplies they already have in the garage or supplies that they can readily get at you know, hardware stores and things like that. So I think it opens a lot of doors for people to try to do new things. And if you've had any experience at all with other techniques, all of a sudden you're saying, well, that's a way I can do this technique that I've been wanting to do. I've given them permission. I've given them the go ahead to try.